Hi all and welcome to another 80D V60 video. In this video, I don't know if I'm going to do it all side by side, but we're going to have, take a look at footage from the Canon 80D at, I think it starts at 1600 to 32 to 64 to 128 and the 60 as well. I think the 60 goes up to 25,600. Why have I started at 1600? Because you can't really see noise on any of them under that and I want to do it for more of a ISO video quality test than a base ISO video quality test. I'm sure they'll both look fantastic at out under 800, 400, so I just didn't bother. So we've started at 16, 32, 64, I think we've gone to 10,000, 12,800, 25,600. And we'll take a look at how the 6D stacks up to the 80D, because the 6D is really old now. Now obviously the 6D doesn't have dual pixel AF, which is a real huge negative, and it doesn't have as many options. But it'd be interesting to see what the video looks like and how good we get away with low light. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you over on the PC. Right, so here we are with the Canon EOS 6D. We're at uh, 1920 by 1080 at 25p, so we'll set the 80D to the same. And we're at ISO, we're at f4, uh, 30th of a second at ISO 800. We are sl showing slightly underexposed on the meter, but I wanted to start at 800, so I'll just leave it. So we'll just have a slow pan over to the other side of the kitchen there. And what I'm going to do is when I get there, I'm now going to, that's good enough anyway, it should be in focus. So we can now see we've got some nice shadows. We'll now come back over to the uh, side. So this is ISO 800. I'm now going to change the ISO on the fly and go to 1600. So we're now at 1600. Let's just see where it's sitting. It's showing a third of a stopover on the meter. Um, so I'll just go 10, there you go, now I'm showing perfectly exposed on the meter, so I'll do the same with the 80D. And we'll just have a little look, now we have got the bright door. So there you go, this is ISO 3200. Now obviously when I go to the other side of the kitchen it's going to be too bright. So if there's any noise now, we should see it as we've got a boatload of shadows over there in the corner where the where the fridge is. Um, so we'll come back over here now. And just before we get here we'll just take a look at the exposure. And I'll just up the shutter speed right, we're showing perfectly exposed on the meter. So this is 3200 ISO. We'll now just go to, I want to jump up in one full stop increments. Right, so we're now perfectly exposed again. So this is 6400 ISO, we'll just have a little look. The reason why I've decided to do it in here and not on the field on a night time is because you know when you do perfect things that are pitch black, the show noise any ISOs, let alone high ISOs. So if we just take a look at that now at 6400, I might brighten it up a little bit this one. There. So that's 6400 ISO on the Canon EOS 6D. What we'll do is we'll whack it up to 10,000. No, we'll go up to 12,800. Uh, we're showing a stopover exposed. I'll just bang it down a bit to somewhere like that. So now that's 12,800 ISO on the Canon EOS. 6D, we're going to do the same again on the 80D in a minute. And we'll just come here and we'll um, speed up that shutter touch to maybe there. And there you go, we're coming back. I did focus on that tissue box and I've not touched the focus since. So uh, this would go to 25,600 I think, this camera, but the 80D won't, but we'll try it. Oh, 16,000, we'll have a go at that. Uh, we'll bring that exposure down. So this is 16,000 ISO on the Canon EOS 6D. Lens used 2470 f4L. So this is 16,000 ISO. Um, see how that looks. We'll knock that shutter down a bit there. Maybe even a bit more. Go on, we'll let it overexpose. So we can see those shadows. There should be noise in them shadows there, I would have thought. Uh, have we got? Right, we're at... 2000 ISO, we've got 25,600 now, which will probably look pants, but there, that's 25,600 ISO. It's ridiculous. We don't know what it's going to look like because I've never really tested it before. I'll just speed up the shutter a little bit to somewhere like that. So this is 25,600 ISO, and we'll see what that is before like. I go. This is just talking about the 80D now, but I will put it on the end of the video. Um, you can see that now I've got the Sigma 18 to 35 low light beast on now. And you can see the difference, instead of being at ISO uh, nearly 1600, which I was at when I had the F4 lens on, I'm shooting at F2, and I'm at ISO 250. And we'll just have another little pan over the kitchen now. Obviously we are at F2, we'll just have a little look over there. So 
So we're now at IS, instead of a year before, I think we was at like 3200. I'll just bring that up there now. We're now at ISO 400 at F2. So you can see that having a nice low light lens also helps. So, and I highly recommend the 18 to 35 because look at what it's doing here in this really low light scene. It's enabling me to um, shoot at ISO 400 instead of like 3200. And because it's a video lens as well, it's nice and sharp. And bearing in mind, we could get nice bokeh from this if we wanted. Um, I mean, at the minute I'm just doing like a wide angle shot, but if we wanted to get close, we could shoot at like f1.8 and blur the background nicely. Anyway, I'll end this video now. I just wanted to show you the 18 to 35. I will be doing a review shortly of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe and a thumbs up would be fantastic.